Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to this purple barrier that is surrounding this weird tower. Or, I mean, let's play Legends of the Ocarina of Time. I'm Purple Rodri. In today's episode, we have one more barrier to dispel. So, let's go ahead and push that out of the way. Uh, it's the light barrier, I believe. The Temple of Light. And it'll allow me to reflect on stuff. So, there we go. The barrier has been crushed. I guess these rocks don't stay on the ground, which, which is weird, because in the Fire Temple, they just stayed there. And you were able to cross them with the lava. Oh god. Uh, is that a floor master? Yeah, it probably is. So I like this temple because it's kind of like the... It's, a, it's the Link temple, you know? And it's just him on his own. And it's Link by himself. And I don't know which one of these treasure chests it's going to be. So let's just go ahead and pick randomly, I suppose. Uh, it's going to be a heart. Cool. I don't care. As long as it gives me hearts or something. Arrows. I'll be fine with that. Oh, ice. Of course, whenever I start saying that, I get ice. What the hell is that? Oh, bats. You guys know how much I hate bats in these games. They're like the worst enemies you could ever have in the whole world. Because they're so annoying and I don't know why Nintendo put them in there. It's just like a freaking waste of space. To... Oh, freaking ice. Why would they put ice in the light one? It's the, it's the freaking temple of light. You don't need ice here. You should have put that in ice caverns. Arrows. Okay, I guess you have to open all the chests to get the key. Which is great. Thank you, Miyamoto, for coming up with that weird ass thing. You got the small key. So this is the one where you have to collect like rupees, I think, with like a big ball running around. I don't know. I was I was thinking a jello thing or a old grandma thing was about to drop down from the ceiling and suck up my shield again, but I guess it didn't. Because someone actually told me that I guess they do suck up your tunic. It wasn't a glitch. So whatever, that's cool with me. I I didn't know that. Thank you guys for teaching me stuff as I went on in this game. I've learned a lot from you guys uh, playing this game. You know, this is my first time 100%ing it, and we're there, basically. Uh, we beat the, the, the dungeon, and it's over. So, simple as that. There we go, let's enter it here. Ah, uh, yeah, we, we got one minute to collect all these. Alright, that's not too bad. How many of them are there? Like, five? That's cool. We'll, we'll go ahead and collect the five. I remember doing this with Tim in the Spirit Temple. That was freaking ridiculous. So, oh my god. You freaking rocked. You honestly have to be right where I am. Seriously. Oh wait, there's one here. How the hell do we get to the top one? God, I don't even know how to get to the top one. Rocks. So I guess this temple will be me. I will be the stage of this temple. Because I guess I've guest starred. Well, I have starred in all the last however many episodes this takes. Where the hell is the last rupee? Jesus Christ. Seriously? Am I going to have to crack one of these boulders? Oh, duh. I was like, oh, am I going to have to whip out that Megaton hammer and start cracking all these boulders and make my way through them? So yeah, I guess I'll tell you guys, I don't know. Oh yeah, I recently made a Twitter, because a couple of you guys were telling me you wanted to make them a couple buddies. So I went ahead and... What the hell? Where's the sage? What? Oh wow, I just ran right through that. I didn't even know. Okay, so yeah, I made a Twitter. It's Purple Rodri. Um, I'll probably post the link to it uh, right there. I don't know. I, I, well, I can't. I'll just put twitter.com slash purple Rodri or something. I uh, just recently made it, so if you guys want to follow me, go ahead, whatever. Um, that's where most of you knew that I was sick. Thank you for, you know, telling me. Hope you feel better and everything. Delay barriers dispelled. Hurry! So, yeah, thank you to all of you who are like, oh, man, I hope you feel better. Like, I hope you, you know, it goes away fast. You want to see your episodes, you know. Thank you. Appreciate it to you guys. And there we go. The light barrier has been dispelled. I believe that's the last one. All five barriers have been dispelled. Thank you to the five sages. <laughs> you know who you are. And that'll be it. We're probably going to climb, make our way to the top. But I don't believe I will be fighting the boss in this temple. Because I don't know how I'm going to have to space it out. I don't know. Maybe I should fight the boss in this temple. No, I can't. Because it's going to be a long... Uh, it's a long fight. I'm thinking of making a long episode or splitting it into two parts. And then just uploading the same two parts. Or like the two parts on the same day. I think that's what I'm going to end up doing, so you guys can... Oh, crap, I went the wrong way. Uh, it's the bridge is the other way. So you guys can uh, watch them both on the same day. One's probably going to be, like, the credits. Or one's going to be, like, the fight. The other one's going to be the credits. Something like that. Um, I'll figure it out. So at least this one only took around three parts to actually make it this far and dispel all the things. I thought it was going to take a bit longer since it is kind of the final dungeon. But not bad at all. So we're going to start climbing up it, but I'm actually not going to begin beating it yet. Uh, I'll, I'll leave that for later. Okay, uh, it's just a climb. It's the climb! We're just gonna be climbing all the way to the top from here. 
it's just a bunch of doors, a couple enemies here and there. I think a couple dark nuts, a couple of these lizard-looking things. Come on, come on, let's kill them off. Oh my god, I love that move. Like, the you don't have to charge spin attack. You, you spin your controller stick and you press B, and he just does it automatically. It's freaking badass. Also, this still looks some people have been taking, telling me they wanted to see, like, um... The red tunic with the hover boots and the mirror shield, so there you go. Yeah, it does look pretty nice, actually. But I'm probably going to be switching back to the classic one, just because I like seeing the final cutscene um, in my normal like green tunic and Hylian shield. I don't know, I just find it a little bit better. Right, let's go ahead and open this up. Is this the Dark Knight one? No, wait. Oh, God. It's just these Skeletor things. I hate these from the freaking Shadow Temple. Always knocking me around everywhere. But they're not hard at all. They're easy as hell. If this dude would stop hiding in the fire, Jesus, come on, man, get out of there. Like, one more hit on him, and I think we got him. There we go. Is there another one hiding? Nope, that was it. And let's go ahead and open this. This is the boss key. Of course, you guys have known after however many temples of you seeing me opening the, this thing up. So let's go ahead and collect that. You got the boss key! Wow, we're actually getting really close to it, and now, holy crap, I'm about to come up to the fight. I don't think I'll be doing the fight now, though, so if we do run up on it, I'll probably leave it for the next episode, because I want to, like, have the cutscene and everything. Here's the Dark Nuts. We're definitely coming really close on it. I'm going to go ahead and use some of Nairu's love for these guys, because they are really hard. I saw, like, some challenges on, like, Zelda Dungeon or something. And they said, like, try to beat the two Dark Nuts before Gandorf with three hearts. I was like, how the hell does someone do that? Three hearts? That's that's insane. I mean, yeah, I can kind of do it with Nairu's love, but with three hearts? Like, one hit and you're done. I don't know how you would even, like, manage to dodge these guys. I just kind of rush them and just try and put damage on them. That's about it. I don't even care if they attack me because I got Nairu's love and they can't really do much through that. Oh, this one's a fast one, huh? You're the fast one? All right, let's go ahead and kill you off first then. And let's kill off your buddy now, who's actually fast too. God, I love Big Moron Sword. Seriously, favorite item in this whole game right there for me. I'm like an aggressive, offensive type person. So like, I'm really offensive based. I don't know how what I could put that in terms, but... So yeah, I like using offense a lot. So it's I love like weapons like this, where you can just dominate and they have like twice as much power as the Master Sword and crap. And wow, that's it. So... Thank you for watching, guys, and in the next episode, you know what's coming. It's actually going to be the boss. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Booyah! We got her. Booyah! Dead. Oh, look at him. He's so angry we killed him. Okay, let's finish her off right now. Yes! There we go. Booyah! And come on, come on! Booyah! There goes Phantom Ganon! That's it, there we go! Oh, he's Booyah! Woo! Right, there we go. Booyah! Woo! Wow, I can Yeah, Rose did it. Alright, and... Already! Booyah! About time. You sure you want to kill her, Link? Booyah! Booyah. There we go, we got her. Ha 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 